Hi guys, what's up? I guess everyone doing great. Today I'm gonna show you some one tools. This is called a magic wormhole. So the magic wormhole is a tools. This is a magic worm, right? So what is the magic wormhole? So if you look, if I do Google search, what is magic wormhole? You can see search magic wormhole it shows something what is magic wormhole this is a simple command line tools that share data to one computer to another computer this is pretty easy you have to just type something in the terminal and and it's pretty easy to install in your system so if you go to the magic wormhole github page it will show everything what is magic wormhole and it has a cool videos so if you want to check it out then the um, developer he has a beautiful explanation what is the another security issue and a lot of things and also they have some documentation if you um that's how we're gonna install in our system also it has a package installer in the operating system it needs some it goes almost every operating system unless it's crazy stuff but almost every operating system should access but sometimes you need a dependent dependency packages like windows and mac os but in linux it should work totally perfect fine now for my my using i'm going to use my windows machine my windows i'm going to transfer something from my windows machine to my uh linux machine for linux i use a virtual box i'm using Kali linux for my linux machine for windows in my on my windows operating system for my pc so how it actually works <coughs> So if I go to the documentation, I, I can check over there. They have a, some example you can check. Uh, um, you have to just from user, I mean the one sender, have to press the wormhole, send, then whatever file you want to send. They give you generate some key, which is seven crossover um, clockwork. It's, it should be different every time you generate it. In the receiver, you have to put, hey, I want to receive something, how? You just press wormhole receive then the generate key they gave you right and the, the good things is those key you can generate by yourself like it is not it shouldn't be like auto generate you can do it you can modify your right so it can go that's why i told i like it goes everywhere almost every operating system um there is some motivation design and stuff so of course let's check this out like we can check it whenever you want and the why i like this one because this is more safe i can say there's a um i saw there's other tools there those are inspired by the magic wormhole but they're not that secure i feel like the magic wormhole is more secure than other tools um and yeah you can check they have a vulnerability issues too but it's really easy it has a low probability man in the middle attack also dds attacked you can see and uh yeah, and it's client to client protocol, file transfer protocol. That's why I feel like this is more safer to use. And how what kind of protocol you can use? You can go the whole this link and I'll I'm gonna drop it in my videos so you can go and check it out. Um which one you like. So yeah, so let's get started install, right? So if I go installation, uh, I'm gonna install in my Windows PC. Is then I need a chocolate. Chocolate, right? Chocolate for the chocolate I need to for install magic wormhole i need a chocolate but what is chocolate this one yeah install chocolate right uh now if you check this out if i go to the main i guess oh yeah this is the package manager for windows modern software automation sometimes that's some package that doesn't work in your windows environment so this chocolate can help you with those right so they have a lot of one things why chocolate you can also check this out it the cost complexity and cost and a lot of good things they're talking about so before you install make sure you know what you are installing it life make you might like your life more easier but it might have some vulnerabilities so check this out by yourself but i feel like this is more safe so i'm gonna install in my system but how do i install so if if you just simply google search you know chocolate installed windows in your windows machine and um if you check i guess every window operating system like windows 7 plus like if you have a 7 8 uh, 10 11 whatever it should work in your system um you need a powershell to run this one so how do i go 
So I can simply go and search PowerShell and try to run. Um, I'm just make sure I'm running. Run as an administrator, right? Click over there. It asks me, do I really want to? Of course I want to that, so I click it, right? So this is my prompt, and you have to just simply copy this command line, the whole things, and paste in your system. Uh, make sure, um, in my system it's already installed, so it might say, hey, this is already installed, so it doesn't work, but in your system it should be working perfectly fine, right? Um, let's see, yeah, it doesn't work, because warning at existing chocolate, chocolate installation was detected, installation not continued, but it takes like, Two, three seconds, I guess. It's going super fast and it should works. Sometimes, yeah, after chocolate installed, good to go. Everything should work perfectly fine. Now we can install magic wormhole, right? For the magic wormhole, um, by the way, is the chocolate installed in my system? If I, if you try the choco, it should say, hey, chocolate is 1.4.0, is already installed. Sometimes it doesn't show in your system. It happens before I installed. That's why you need to restart your system. So if you restart your whole, whole PC, it might um, fix the problem. You know, the restarting can solve a lot of problems. Okay, so yeah, uh, my universe is work. So after I install chocolate, I'm good to go. I can close this one. I can open my CMD prompt. This is my CMD. After I open CMD, beautiful, I can say, oh, now I can go there. In the installation, I can say Choco install magic wormhole, right? So go there, Choco, did I miss something? Yep. C, Choco install magic wormhole. I'm, I'm, mine is already installed. You, your, I guess it'll be the same thing. Do you still continue to watch? Yeah, of course, continue. Why? Yeah, I mean, it says the same. I have already installed Tribe or something. Okay, so I don't have to do anything else, but in your system, it just is installed. It also, some, I mean, takes a few seconds, I guess. But it's not that much like time, you know? So this is good. My system is installed. How about in my Linux machine? My Linux machine also installed, I, I using Kali. So if I install Kali, you just have to sudo apt install magic wormhole. But so if I open terminal, Bigger now that I can type up uh, before you do that make sure you um, update make sure you update your system um yeah this is good practice so update every time you use it um yeah that update I can clear this up and yeah I can test those Comment, I guess. Well, sometimes it paste it doesn't work, so I don't know why. But uh, yep, sudo apt install magic. That's why I, I told you, like, it's already installed. I don't know if it might say something. No, it doesn't. Zero upgrader, so it's good, right? Now we have um, magic wormhole installed in our system. Now, how do I use it? So, there's a two different options uh, that's the user. Um, the example shows you have to send, then the receive command, right? You wormhole, then send or receive. So I'm gonna do the same things in here for my Windows. I'm gonna need some help, right? How do I get help? I say wormhole, then send uh, any kind of information I understand, then help, right? Okay, that's good. It says something. Enable zero and goes more C code length v variety high processed or the good things you can use the tor uh, tor to transfer uh, the data right so it's more secure i guess and you also made your own code values like you don't need to be it's not it shouldn't be generated by yourself you can also input your co uh, coder you also can send text values and a lot of other things right how about you can send one well let's try it um before i can do uh how about Wormhole receive function, right? Receive help. Yeah, it also do the same things to a browser. You can control the endpoint, then exit file. You can wait for the exit file. Oh, file thing. So it's pretty cool. Check this out, I guess. So now I'm gonna send something, but before I wanna send, I wanna make some files, I guess, right? Or I can say, um, how about I can send from here? from my Linux machine, right? 
so which did I have with only the stop? So look at that stop, right? Next up, you know, I have something here, right? So why should I delete those and make a new one? Okay. Okay, so it's empty. My desktop is empty. I can um, say, hey, the same things, right? The same files. Hey, this is a test file. That's dxx.dxc. It should say it. So if you want to cap this test file, yep. Hey, this is test file, right? So how do I send this test file to my other system? Simply, you just I need to make sure my, my all the my systems are installed, right? Now I can say a wormhole. Wormhole. Then send text.txt, enter, right? After I put text.txt, it generate a key for me to get the files, right? It says wormhole, receive archimo acne. So I'm just copy this one. So simply just type this one, wormhole receive, not like that, archimo acne, me, then press enter. It should ask me, do I continue? Of course, yes. If you press yes, now this is in my system, in the desktop, right? Let's see, it's in the, in the terminal bus. Yeah, it is there, right? Cat. Hey, this is a test file. I don't know why it's not shows. In, oh, maybe it's in one drive desktop, right? Oh, that's why, right, right, right. So if I follow this path, name my name desktop here you go right I found this one here it's the same file <laughs> you see this is pretty cool to transfer file from different computer to different computer uh, how about I can send some uh, we saw something right how about in here Send, send what? Fake name dot HTML. Yeah, we can send fake name dot HTML, right? Um, now before I want to send, I want to make sure one pull send. I need some help. It's gonna show me. Oh, I can send text messages, right? It can send any kind of text message to a different computer. How about we can send it some text message? So make sure you type one hole, then send, then the um, text message you want to, um, you need a text message, right? So you have to press double dash, text, T E X T text, then the, the message you want to send. Hey, you can say, hey, this is right and you have to make sure it's closed in the code so then you can send the text messages and oh we generate a key 9 october prefer uh, copy and hopefully i can paste in here yep hopefully copy so if i enter hey this is name of the one so it's really easy to send for file from one computer to the computer I'm just wondering, can I send a big file? Maybe, right? Um, how about you can go CD one time, I guess. One drive CD picture, maybe, right? Yep. You see, there's I have a lot of picture in here. One is screenshot, screenshot folder. So if I go in there and screenshot, I have some plenty of screenshot, right? You can see that I planted scripture. I want to send the whole file. That's why I just go in the pictures folder, then try to send it. But this time I'm gonna send it with my own generator key. You know that before I look for the help, it told me like I can literally generate my human generated code first, right? So I can send something. I can send an now screenshot. Let's see, screenshot, then double dash, then code. My code will be anything you want, but make sure you have a number and the letter. So I can say nine Mufat LM capital letter, right? Make sure the uh, uh, oh, it's in it. Uh, I mean, sorry, yeah, it's need a wormhole, right? First to wormhole, then send. Ah, oh, that's nice. So this is my wormhole generator. So if I say 
um, receive it, I have to press one more. One more. Receive. Nine. Mufat. And alarm. Right? Uh, then I press enter. Boom. It says, do I have to receive it? It says 900 kilobytes. So I say yes. You see how fast it comes? And unpacking zip, it so comes to the zip and it's unpacking. And it has how many files it have. You see, there's a desktop.int, otherwise, it is nine, four, nine files. So, in my same files, it's supposed to be nine. Yes, yeah, nine, nine items. In the same, I have the nine screenshot items. So, it's pretty fast and easy to transfer data from one computer to one, another computer. Uh, yeah, that's, that's pretty easy. And uh, you can also send a text file. Like you are browsing something, you find some link, you want to send a different computer, you just type uh, one more, then send, make sure you put send, then text, then www.youtube.com, then in the file you don't want to type like, a, they're, they're not going to generate, your, your, you don't want them to control, so you can say, 10 then whatever you want to so I say I name um, right so but this is my code right you have to mention this is a code code then my code right it should work send boom and for the receiving for the alarm so I can simply say one hole receive 10 Make sure this is a capital small letter stuff. So yeah, double period. You just simply copy from here, right? It's easy and paste from YouTube. Uh, one more thing, so those are the website are very helpful. You can check those uh, differently out. But uh, I wanna make sure that this is working. Perfect. Um, you can also, and if you want to check this, uh, check a different things like all the things should work and stuff. Uh, I also recommend if you have a time, so you don't have to. I mean, if you have time, so you can go check it out. My like, GitHub pages It's the same things they're to told about the magic wormhole and the chocolate. How I try, how I installed in my Mac OS, Windows, and the Linux machine. Um, and also, I sub give some example. Uh, just it just uh, give you some like, more details, I guess, and more. Uh, more ac uh, you don't have to go like a bunch of websites. You just check it here, and I have a screenshot that might uh, helps you a lot and those are my link you can check this out yeah and those are really helpful so, and one more thing is for the extra i guess if you want to check this out that that's how i found the magic wormhole um i use uh, my brother told me there's a tool it's called the crocs they're basically inspired from um if you go their website my vlog i guess this said that i guess um one more yeah it should be there, right yeah they're um tossing the micro yeah, the, in development croc, I took inspiration from the clip like two tools and magic worm, which is the builder of knowledge of quality of okay. So there's inspired, and um, when I trying to use that, I found that yeah, there's a, also things that call the magic worm hole. I, I compared the both, I feel like the magic worm has more security feature, and the updater is more frequent. They're updating, I try to update often but uh crocs is not that much i guess and uh, they have a lot of security vulnerability but it's up to you but this the crocs using uh, crocs are i guess much better and faster i guess i can say it is um you don't have to like if you just type croc then send the main file and the user doesn't have to send croc receive right he says the croc then the number the whatever the generate key is they get the files right and but the both are the same so it stops to you whichever you prefer hopefully that really helps thank you so much for being here yeah, thanks